So just what are some of the negative outcomes of the de decriminalization of substances for personal use in British Columbia? Well, since it has been just over a month, we don't really have any of that information yet, but we can look at those who have gone before us. It was 22 years ago that the country of Portugal decriminalized possession of all narcotics, and that started in July 2001. In a podcast from NPR, uh, Talk of the Nation, it is discussed that after the decriminalization of narcotics in Portugal, close to uh, there was a massive spike in deaths, close to 500% uh, of death increase after decriminalization as opposed to before decriminalization. There was also a large increase in HIV uh, transmission through injections, and um, there was also a huge rise in violence and uh, crime revolving around drugs after decriminalization. A little bit closer to home, Oregon, about two years ago, decriminalized narcotics as well. Now, officials say it's still a little bit too early to say how successful it's been, but what some of the people who are actually users and living on the streets have to say about it is that it hasn't really changed anything. It's sort of like the whole system is on cruise control. Nothing's really changed. That comes from Terrence from a Global News interview saying that... It's all about survival. We're not getting any help out here. No emotional help. Um, so, yeah, he's saying that really nothing has changed as well. Uh, and it's just not really doing anything. Now, as for British Columbia specifically, a lot of the advocates for substance users, specifically the Vancouver Area Network of Drug Views Users, or VANDU, uh, would uh, had to do... <laughs> were uh, in an article from uh, UBC magazine, which is from the University of British Columbia. And let's see, 2.5 grams is what is right now acceptable to be carrying around and not get charged. So Garth Mullins from Vandu states that 2.5 grams is not good enough. Something closer to 18 gram threshold would be a lot more acceptable. Delilah Gregg, also of Vandu, states that 2.5 grams is what a lot of users have for breakfast. So what I think really needs to happen as well, is, other than the allotment going up, is that there needs to be more access to uh, care in the sense of harm reduction, safe injection sites, and uh, also just stigma is quite often just as dangerous as the drugs, and uh, stigma has to change. That is what's going to help.